ArcView is an app from Define Studio that brings together all of your news into one beautiful interface that is fluent and is clean in design as you know I love if you are a fan of this channel. Let's take a look on how well it works and see maybe what can be improved on it. And here it is, here is ArcView. Again, this is made by Define Studio, the app makers of also the last app that I did, which was Socialize Up. They made a social media application for all-in-one social media. And this is your RSS reader application for all you can find with news websites that use RSS. And we're doing the fluent design test real quick to start off the video as usual. Does it have fluent design? I can already tell it does, but I want you guys to pay particularly attention to this area, essentially right here on the edge of the application under the little smiley face. So you can see right there that it does get slightly darker and brighter as it goes over the car's bright area. So that does in fact pass the fluent design test. It does have fluent design, Microsoft's current design language and getting into the app review itself. So one thing I'm gonna say right off the bat is I like it. I like it a lot more than Socialize Up. I'll tell you that right now, hands down, I love this thing a lot more than Socialize Up. This application is clean. The ads aren't in the way. There's nothing that's overly bearing on you. And even if I go full screen, it still looks good. And when I actually decide to ever go uh, with an app review, if I go my full resolution of 5120 by 1440, it still looks great. And another thing they allow you to do is resize things like this. They, they allow you to resize this thing. And when you're at that giant resolution, it really, really helps because you can make use of your space better. They even allow you to bring this thing open and keep it open. So like that alone and just resizing things to whatever screen size you want, I love it. I love the way they've done this. It's a very simple application. It does exactly what it needs to do correctly. And going through, you see this is the home. And then you have your favorites if you favorite anything, any sources. And then you can add or remove sources right there. So I added from technology, from NPR, uh, The Verge, Engadget, Electric, Polygon. And then I have categories too, which is you know main, which is what has these. And then gaming, which has Polygon on it. So going back. Uh, and going back home. So you can see right off the bat, as soon as you open it up and you add any sources to it, it's gonna tell you what you should do. It says add sources and you can click on things to add sources. And if you wanna add a source like I missed before, which was Windows Central, I can do Windows Central. And you can see the various little RSS feeds that they have at Windows Central. And what I wanna add is their overall RSS feed from Windows Central. So I will actually click that. And then you can see their RSS link. You can see their title for the thing and I can change the title to whatever I want but I'm just gonna leave it how it is. You can preview the feed and see what you can preview on there, which is really nice. And then if I go back, you can also set so that way it turns on notifications for it. One thing that I just don't like having for news is notifications because you know blogs tend to post things often, especially when it's with a team of people. So it bothered me, it would bombard me on Windows when I'm doing anything with news things constantly, especially if you have like 50 news sources on an app like this. But so Windows Central, I'm going to keep it in the main category or I can create a new category for it, which I'll show you in a second. So you see here, I can create a new category if I want tech news or something like that. But I'm not going to do that because you know how it looks like. And then I can just hit add. And then it adds us to the main category. And then you see right there, it just refreshed and it automatically added it to the main category. Now, the one interesting thing that I don't know why it's like this is actually um, the date format. The time and date format is very interesting. I thought it was wrong at first. I thought it was set February 11, 2020, but it's in fact just the month is in the middle and the day is outside on the left. So that's just the layout. It's pretty much day, month, and year at the end. So if you get confused with that. And then going down to the settings and about, so you can see here the general security. So Define Studio sends to ha seems to have like a, a template going on with their stuff. Um, basically they, they seem to have a style that they use that seems to work pretty well, like their change log. I think this is the one thing they need to change here. If you saw my app review for socialize up, they had a really nice change log. I really want them to carry that kind of change log over to this application too, where you have the descriptive, you know, the simple color pop of whether it's an update, whether it's new or it's a fix, they have to set it, set color rectangles that tell you what each one is before you even have to read the whole thing. Um, but at least they have a change log that allows you to see what's in each version. This is version 2.60. 
Uh, and then going back up to general, you can reset the database, which pretty much just wipes your entire application and makes you pretty much re-add everything again. You can set up the startup category. So whether if you only care about uh, gaming or let's say my main category is pretty much just tech news as a whole. Uh, if you only care about gaming, you can set that category to gaming and your startup category when you open up the app will be the gaming category. But I'm going to leave it as main. Um, always use article extended mode. Basically, it's just going to have that mode enabled notifications off as i said before just because for me i don't like notifications on any news source just because i'll get bombarded with stuff when i'm trying to just enjoy my time using my computer or play a game it just keeps popping up with notifications um, acrylic background that's your fluent design background so you can see no fluent where it's just opaque it's just red red and then you can see fluent nice clean acrylic fluent design with the cars background right there um, you can choose web links just like in socialize up uh, whether you want it to open up in the app, external windows, or ask before opening. And then you can resize the fonts for the application, make it bigger or smaller. I'm going to leave it at like 15, that halfway mark. You got security there too. And basically it, all it does is it allows you to set a pin. That way no one else can access your application um, on your computer when they say borrow your computers, unless they have the pin and password. Um, you have your about. Another clean thing that Define Studio tends to do is this about made with love in India. So... It's, it's a really nice application. They give you quick links. So one of the things that I'd like, I, I don't like when I take a look at an application is that a lot of time when I'm trying to find what I'm doing, the description box with all their information in it, I'm trying to find their Twitter, their Instagram, their whatever they have, whatever kind of social media that this, the people have. And their applications don't even have that. They have like an email and sometimes they don't have anything. So I like how Define Studio decided to just put their website right there. You click it, it goes to their website, put their Twitter there, their email there, the rating stuff, everything. They just put it right there in front of you so you don't have to think about it. Everything has a hyperlink to it, which is exactly what every app developer should do is just let me be able to, you know, share this to somebody, contact you quickly or whoever it is, especially since these aren't billion dollar companies that it would be pretty tough to even hear back from them. So you have your in-app purchases there, as I said, remove ads, remove cu add custom password. Again, this is going to cost you some change, and I'll put that actually in the screen um, as I'm going. So yeah, it's it's a clean thing. Clicking into an article, let's say the Windows Central article, you have this playback button here. You have read aloud, and if I even click this, you can see all of it without me reading it. So you have text-to-speech. You have your extend, which extends the article, gets rid of some of the pictures, lets you focus on reading. You can take it away. You have this X button here, which allows you to mark as unread, which is kind of hard to know what that means. But I guess that's why they added these this three dots here. You have your ad favorite, which if I click that, it favorites this article to favorites. And then I'll show you it shows up here. Um, clicking that too. You have your share, which shares it on the Windows share kind of screen that pops up on everything. And you can go directly to the source and download the image that's shown in the thing. So if I hit download images, all the images using the article I'll be able to download and save to my device, which again, a really useful thing when someone like me who covers news and technology stuff, I can just borrow the article, the article's images, you know, with credit, of course, and just show it to you guys as well without having to go through all these crazy means to just get a simple image. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, it's a very nice application. I definitely use this a lot more if I use news readers. Um, I typically just, my brain just goes to the Google app on my phone and I just read what comes up um, or go on Twitter. But if you're a person who likes all-in-one news readers and wants a nice RSS feed for your Windows computer, let's say you're on lunch break and you're just reading while you're eating at work, this is something that you can definitely use. And it's free unless you want to unlock passwords and all that stuff and remove ads, which the ad isn't that intrusive, so I wouldn't even say you need to unless you're wanting to support the developer, which you probably should. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And my name is Kwaku, and I'll talk to you guys later. Take care, everybody.